Robert from Channel 9's Real Destinations. I'm here today with Ben Glass from SCF Australia. We're cook doing a little cook up for the Switch Your Fish campaign. What have we got here, Benny? Righto. So we have a school mackerel that we caught this morning. Great alternative species. We've filleted it up. We've got top loins, belly loins. We're going to do an Asian tasting platter today. Now I'm going to do a couple and you're doing a couple. So I am going to do banana leaf wrapped Spanish mackerel with sambal. A little bit of herbs and stuff on top, grilled on the Weber. I'm also gonna do a sashimi belly cut of the mackerel. Fatty cut? Fatty, yeah, the fattier cut. So yeah. a little bit, because because we're doing uh, pickled mandarin with it, so quite acidic, all that sort of stuff. Pickled mandarin, ponzu dressing, with a little bit of uh, salmon roll on top. It's gonna be legit, and you are cooking. I'm gonna grill the top loin of this fish. We're gonna have a nice little crispy noodle bed. Yum. Yep, Nam Jim sauce. Yum. Papaya, chili, avocado, salsa dripping off the edge. Fire. It should be nice. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm excited. So, Shall we start with yours? Yeah, let's start. So I didn't bring skewers, so I've got some sticks. Do you want to whittle me some sticks? I can get some pointy edges on them, please. Get me some pointy edges. I'm going to take this banana leaf, guys. So with banana leaf, when you're wrapping any, any protein in banana leaf or grilling it, at the moment, it's quite fibrous. So you want to make it malleable by applying it to some heat. So I'll move down the barbie. I'll show you guys how to do that. I've been to get the sambal out of the Yeti. Where uh, I'll talk about the fish, the way we prepared it, he's gonna use the belly cuts here, the fatty ones, the sashimi. We've got the top loins and the belly loins. I think we'll put the belly loins into the uh, banana leaf. Yeah, let's do we'll, that. We'll do the top loins for the plain grilled fish. Let's do that. I think the top loin will hold together a little bit better for yeah. that uh, grilled I fish. I agree, I agree. Let's do that. So I reckon portion wise, these are quite, because like, we're doing a tasting platter, we're going to do quite small portions. It is just a tasting platter. We're going to do one of everything each. So I'm going to grab a cut here. Reckon just a little pieces like that. We only need four of them. What's another good one deal? We'll leave those real we'll fancy ones for you. You can have that one to wrap up in there. I'll have that one. That's a nice wrapper. Righto, so we've got our four portions here. Now, it doesn't need salt and pepper this because this is quite seasoned. Now, this is a sambal dressing I made at home. Chili, galangal, garlic, ginger, the recipe will be linked. It smells amazing too. I can't it wait will. To smell so, it we're going to put a bit on the bottom, a little protection. We'll put the fish down. We put a bit more on top. It's a super simple dish, guys. All the flavour is in the sambal. Now, we're going to wrap fish up just any way you can, kind of like tying a shoe or wrapping a parcel. I've never wrapped a parcel in my life, to tell you the truth. I'm not good at it. I'm good at it. Well, you wrap one. Then we're going to use our little sticks and just shut them up like that. And that's them pretty much ready to go. That's a tasty little pocket, mate. So we, they basically steam. They're, not, they're on the grill, but they steam themselves and the fish takes on all that flavour. It takes on the flavour of the banana leaf. It's a really Asian style way of cooking, super Thai style. You will get like a little bit of grill flavour through it too. It's surprising. You get little grill marks, it's weird. I don't know how the transfer happens, but we're going to wrap the rest of these up, set them aside and we'll move on to the next one. Them little pockets look mental, Benny. Okay, okay, time for the grilled fish. You've already prepared the crispy noodle beds. Yeah. We've, we've done them back at the home in the, in the kitchen. Yeah. So they're only little, so we're going to actually trim these down to fit on top of these crispy noodle beds. So about half that size, I think, Benny. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I reckon, man. So we only need four pieces. Right. I reckon that one looks better. Yeah, that one looks better, too. yeah. So we'll yeah, just, so just four bits, right? I reckon we just bang that in half like that. Agree. This one. Salt pepper. I think you can give that a season if you can for me, mate. Can, can, can. Get rid of these flakes. The dribbly bits. Oh, we got a bit of, a bit a bit of salt. Of moisture. A bit of moisture in there. What you get on the beach, it's okay. There we go, we're back. That's perfect, mate. A little bit of pepper on top of that. So we're going to go from this board down onto the grill. Basically, with this, it's a, they're a really nice fish. They're nice and oily, so. 
they're easy to cook, basically. Yeah, you easy to cook, man. You can overcook them, but they are hard to overcook because of the oil in them. Indeed, totally, yep. man. Especially like, especially for this sort of stuff, like that won't overcook. You Ever. can be pretty like, chuck it on there, whoopsie days, you go have a few beers, uh oh. Bam. We're this back. one here, you're going to see it, it's going to be presented on a piece of yep. crispy noodle. Yep. So we'll have to watch that. I think it's time to pull these down into here. All right, cook so. them up. While we do that, you can start to prepare the, uh, the butter. The sashimi, yep. Oh, but... sashimi, sorry, yeah. Yeah, so let's you, do that. You can cut that while I cook these. Let's get them on the grill. So we're on location, on the beach. Benny. I got the olive oil. You were meant to pack all this, everything, the staples. What have you forgotten? The I olive forgot oil? the olive oil. We're going to improvise. We have little banana leaf pockets. We're actually going to use this as a non stick base. Yeah. So we're going to put this down on the grill. Yeah. We're actually going to cook our little chunks of mackerel on top of this. Yeah. Flip it, non stick, maybe even get some banana leaf paste through it. Yeah. That's going to sit on top of it. Perfect, dude. We're going to bang them down here right now. It's going to work great. Let's see how we go. Yeah. You can see that change in colour now. The oils are being activated by the heat. So we're just going to place these little morsels on top of this, get them ready to cook. I can hear them sizzling so it's working. Put our little pockets right in the middle there. We've got a ring there so it should be not too much direct heat there. Okay, we're, all, we're away. So we're at our final stages here. The mackerel on the grill is pretty much cooked. We've turned it off, residual heat in it. You're on the cut now for the sashimi, Benny? Yep, so I'm just cutting against the grain, across the grain, sorry, um, on a bit of a diagonal. I like a bit of a thicker cut sashimi. We're big boys here, so we like it thicker. You can go thinner, you can do it however you like. We're not, you could even cube it if you like to. But I'm gonna get this down on deck um, first up and plate up and then um, fill and move on to plate and hit it up. Yeah, I think so. We'll get this on here. We made our little salsa at home as well. Uh, for my dish, you've also cooked these little crispy rice noodles. How would you do that? So these are just a rice noodle netting that you can get from an Asian supermarket or like a really good supermarket. Um, hot oil, throw them in, 10 seconds, pull them out, drain them on some uh, paper towel and they're good to go. So you can actually pick them up and eat it as a little vessel? Yeah, like a little vessel. So it's like, it's like, like an Asian tostada, taco-y like sort of setup. It's cool, man. I like it. It's cool. While you're doing that, I might actually cut some coriander. That's the only thing we left out. We didn't want the herbs to wilt yep. at home. Yep. So they would that lime juice in there would have actually really destroyed them. Right now we're at plate up stage. So you want to get your fish off and I'll do a little Nam Jim for you. I think I'll go better crispy, sort of lean over here. While Benny finishes beautiful Asian tasting platter off, the Switch of Fish campaign, I'm all for it. We're not saying don't go out and target snapper and pearlies as a table fish. What it's about, there's other amazing species yeah, out there. Yeah, there is. School mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Cobia, dolphin fish, mahi, they're all good, man. Amberjack, Amberjack is sensational. And they pull string. They're fun fish. They're so fun, man. So, Go out and challenge yourself before you go to your normal grounds and go fish deep water snapper and everything. Yeah. Even push in shallow, challenge yourself there for snapper. Yeah, they release great shallow snapper too. So if you are going to target them, catch them in shallow, they pull string, they fight so hard. 
Eight metres of water and you can release them. Perfect. I, like, I love catching snapper, that's one yep. of my favourite, but also all these other fish, you've just... You've back, you've right, look at it. <laughs> look at I'm it. lost for words. Oh, I'm lost for words as well. We're going to dig into this. Thanks, guys. This is going to be good. Boys, are you guys hungry? Yeah. Everyone's hungry. <laughs> Let's get into it. Good job, mate. Thank you.